right, so we just want to make a quick video really quick uh, just to show you guys the different solutions that I use. I've um, been using this, so let's just dump it out. So I got a brand fresh one. Uh, so today we're going to be doing traditional. Um, like I said, these are my three go-to. So I would say for a job like this, um, maybe, I don't know, two or three gallons. Um, and the thing is, is that I'm going to be using that guy a little bit today because the screens have nails on them. So that's going to be something. So I try to already take some of the screws out a little bit so to make it a little bit easier. But um, yeah, well, while that's going, let's move the ladder. All right. Right here. All right. So I got the ladder there set up. Let's uh, kind of get this going. I think two should be good because we're gonna really soak it today. Okay, so we want to get the high slide. Just get a little bit of that in there, like that. Get your glass gleam. Should be good enough. You don't want to put too much, you just want a little bit. And then this is, I think that that's good. I like to make it a little bit more soap. All right. So most important, when you get your soaps in, you want to mix it a couple times. And then once you're done, you want to squeeze it out. All right, like that. Get all the stuff out, and now it's time to start the workout. Great. All right, so let's start getting going. Towel, so we have these two, okay? So let us do this together. All right, so um, now one thing with the client, uh, there's a little bit of the glass here, it's a little bit broken, but they said it's okay if it leaks a little bit. But what you want to do is be very careful with these type of windows. Um, very, very, very careful. All right. Now, because she has the organic clean, I'm not taking off the paint. I told her that ahead of time. Just doing the paint, and that is it. So. It's better, right? But because the windows are so old, there's really nothing more you can do. But I think they're trying to sell the house. So they are uh, just trying to make the house look a little bit nicer. So, all right. So we have this ladder actually is working on the back. So that's why I uh, am using the little giant for the work. All right, let's see. <clears throat> okay. Oh, maybe I should take it. All right, so I already took out the screws a little bit, maybe a little bit more, just so that I can make this video little bit easier and they said they didn't really care too much about the screens for me to put back on so we'll just leave that to the side all right so you want to mop right mop thoroughly um, normally with these type of windows I'll just still do water fed but because it's uh, I want to do a video guys a video for you guys to do regular traditional style so this is the fanning method so you get it like that and then boom done all right so this is what it's good for is to have two towels one to detail the bottom just like one swipe and then from there just detail the sides. Now, the reason why I didn't go up on this step is because I want to show you guys a really cool trick. You can get the towel, use your micro 
here detailing how uh, this uh, uh, the zero towel okay so then from there we're good to go for the next one all right but now one thing is is that let's say they're like really dirty right um, and it's like a construction clean and all that uh, but at the same time it's not right they just want a regular clean but you want to get a little bit of extra right this is your best friend this is what I was saying this tool is awesome you have this you have the walnut and see how simple this is so simple I'm not even using look I just only use like almost two fingers I don't have to go too hard but these windows are okay with the regular clean but this is a good method for like first time cleans so now that we have the soap there and then um let's see what else what can I do in this video so there's two methods right we did the fanning now let's just do straight pulls you know from side to side always suggest to wipe off every single time you go across make sure that it's in this angle because if not it's going to leave a mark right so you want to keep it where you want the, the water to run off right so you want it at the bottom so you want to tilt it a little bit the top forward so that it goes through okay so again detail here and in here okay so now with this one i like to have like one of these rags that i don't really care about just kind of make it look a little bit nicer because now that they don't have the screens on anymore look at that wow. with the water fed man that thing will just take this all away but anyways just kind of make it look a little nice like that okay um i like to just do this to be make it look a little bit nicer than it was before and look much different right okay so let us move on to this one now this one because of the way it's formed um i would say just kind of go over it like this right? and it's impossible to go over with the squeegee okay so keeping that in mind all you do is just get your towel just kind of detail it you know kind of get all the little spots like that just be very careful because you know they have the or three tape spots so you want to kind of do that okay and what i like to do is just have this one just to detail where there's a little bit of gunk but so that especially here you can like see through the window okay all right so we're done here now let us all right well i don't know if i said this in the video so i'm just gonna say this um the reason why i don't um, didn't want to use a razor is because I have to have another contract signed in order to have uh, the razor used because it's always good to have a contract because the the homeowner's not home in this case but um, let's just say like there were scratches before and you clean a window and then you use a razor they can blame you so obviously you need to know how to razor a window um, but in doing so, you have to um, also keep in mind too that when I even do a, a job like this, I do have a contract that's signed too. But that one just says pretty much that I'm not using anything that can scratch your window, right? But if I am going to use a razor, there is a chance, even though it's very mild and very small, you can still scratch a window. So you just want to protect yourself. It's not bulletproof, but um you just want to make sure that you're protected and um you don't uh get yourself in trouble but yeah this is going to be a little bit tedious so i'll finish up this and then i'll continue with the video all right let's move on to the next one all right so one thing that's really good is to let the owner the homeowner know like for these type of windows, I don't even touch because the rest of the window is going to be, uh, it's going to be um, uh, like half dirty, half uh, clean. So it's just better to um, have them done. Uh, not done, I'm sorry. Just not have them done at all. All right, so here we go. In detail. This 
is, like I said, one of the best detailing towels. This one here, I like to make it look a little bit nice for them too. Right here, good to go. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay. I like to leave the dirty towel here if I'm always going to be doing ladder work. So again, look at the results. Boom. This one I like to scrub just a little bit extra because of how dirty they are. All right. This one I guess you could do a fanning technique. And uh, when you're learning how to do fanning, you're going to mess up a lot. I'm just going to be straight with you guys that it's great and all to be fanning but in the beginning you're not gonna know um, how to fan correctly and it's okay it took me a couple of months to kind of get used to it um, well that's from the inside so but it's good to learn makes things a little bit faster but if you prefer just doing it man look at that doing it uh, Just normal, like one, uh, like um, what do you call it? Like one pull this way or straight pull that way. It's okay too. It's just uh, I would just recommend the over time save you a lot of time. Learn how to do some fanning. Um, man, this is like mad dirty. All right, that looks good enough. You know what? Let's just have another. Towel. I don't really care about this one. Here we go. Just, gonna just go over it like that. Make it look pretty. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go to the last one here on this side. Okay. You know what? Let me dunk it again. Okay. Let's see if we. Get this taken care of. Beautiful. But in this case here, you want to just do like one full fanning. It's it will be too much. Um, the best is like when it's like more than like two like pulls or swipes, then you want to do fanning. But if it's like two or one, it's better just to. To fan, uh, to oh, when it's less than two, just do straight pulls. More than that, fan. There we go. Okay, there we go. Again, see one, two. But let's say we want to do fanning, right? Like this. Not a lot of room, but it's still doable. I mean, if you think that that's faster, then okay. But for something like this, it's just nicer just to do just twice. Okay, there you go. Okay, uh, this is the nicer looking one. Swipe like this, perfect. Then this one goes after, just to make it look a little bit nice. Boom. All right, great. Okay, all right, so we're good to go on these windows. So another thing we can do, this is what the tool I was saying, to take off screens. Oh man, this thing is awesome. Like let's say from here, you wanna remove a screen, just kinda slip it through here, try to make it a little loose, The the screen will look. I couldn't have done that without this uh, screen remover tool. Like I said, I have it in my other video, but this thing is a lightsaber. <sighs> lightsaber or lifesaver? I don't know. It's a lifesaver. There you go. Just like that. Boom. Done. Okay. There you go. Easy peasy. Just trying to make this video a little bit shorter. A lot of my videos are like really long, so just trying to do my best to get as much information as I can to you guys. Um, but 
Oh, there's actually over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. She's doing a great job over there. Okay. One more tall enough here so we don't have to worry about it. You know what? On this window, I'm going to do like a little race for myself. And you tell me which one's faster, okay? First one straight pull. Second one, uh, fanny. All right. Ready? Go. Okay. Done. This one. Well, you tell me which one was faster. Yeah, it's uh, it's about the same, but I feel like the pulls were a little bit quicker. Um, but let me know. What do you guys think in the comment section down below? If you guys think that it's uh, um, faster straight or fanning. All right, so let's clean the bottom again. Boom. Perfect. Let's do this one one more time. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's move on. Okay, the soil is a little bit soft, so just got to be a little careful with that. All right, here we go. It's a good amount of soap. All right, this one, like I said, I'm just gonna get that taken care of. Okay. Take off all the gunk at the bottom. Ooh, wow, that's a lot. Okay. Might have to use another rag for this one. Oh, it's really filthy. Okay, there we go. Maybe it's just a little touch of free here. You know what, we're gonna do a wash today, so we can use a little bit more towels. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Let's move on to the other side. And then I think we're done for the job today, guys. Well, if you've made it again this far in the video, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions about window cleaning products, um, just feel free to reach out to me. I'll do my best um, to get you the deal. Um, one thing is that um, if you purchase things through me, I will do my best to help you out and make the right decisions uh, when it comes to buying products. Um, and if you have any questions about things, I want to be your guy. I want to be the person that helps you out with all this window cleaning questions. Um, and in turn, if you buy through me, I get a little commission and it helps me out. So, um, yeah, it'll, it'll help us out a lot with that. Um, let's see, we got all this here. Okay, looks pretty good. Now we use the white towel. Okay, just look a little bit more poppy. There we go. Okay, because this is the last of it, because actually I already finished her part. Okay, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.